What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to add room and room tags in our model. Okay, so let's get this started. So I'm going to zoom in to this uh, stair here and then just a bit of a background. So what is this room? So from the architecture, from the room and area panel, you can see here the room tool. Okay, the shortcut for that is RM. So it creates a room bounded by model elements such as walls, floors, and ceilings, and separation line, which is this one, okay? So you can use that to adjust your uh, boundary. So room boundaries are automatically defined by many types of model elements, just like your walls, floors, and ceilings. And you can also add separation lines to add and adjust the room boundaries. So we can use this room as our basis for our design because once you place the room you can check out the properties of that room and then you can see the perimeter there the area of that particular room and then you can use the room to create a schedule okay so let's get started so i'm gonna select here the room and then i'm gonna make sure that the tag here is turned on so that after i place the room it will automatically place also the tag and here on your options bar you can specify the upper limit and also the offset or the height of your room okay and then i'll be creating here a new room all right so let's start it so i'm gonna pick here so make sure you hover your pointer as you can see it's already defined by the boundary of your building like the wall Okay, so I'm going to pick one here. There you go. And then I will select here, modify. So I am on, I'm on the third floor. That's why I'll just accept here. Uh, the number starts three. But for this one, so let's say I'm going to change this to one. And Revit will automatically follow this uh, sequence. Okay, later on as we place uh, more rooms. So for the name, I can click again this and then change it. So let's say that's my stairs and then enter. Okay. By the way, if you hover your pointer inside this area, you will be able to select also the, the room here by hovering your pointer and then press tab, tab, and there you go. So that's your room. So if you click that rooms and then check the properties, you can see here, the property that I'm talking about earlier, wherein you can check there the area, you can check the perimeter, you can check the height, etc., etc. Okay? And then you can also specify here the number and name aside from clicking it here on the uh, drawing. Okay? Now, so let us put more stairs here, or I mean um, tags, rooms. Okay, so let's click the room and then I'm gonna make sure tag on placement is turned on and then I'm gonna place one here. Click and then after that you can click another one here. So you will notice the number there will automatically follow. So it's sequence automatically based on the first uh, room number that you have placed. So basically this is how you add your uh, rooms manually. Okay, of course, you can still change the name of this room if you want. And then let's say, for example, I will go to the uh, zero 01 entry level. So I click that. And then let's place another uh, set of rooms here. So I will go to the room again. Make sure tag on placement is on. But for this one, as you can see, the rooms are already defined, right? So no need for us to click inside the room or place another room so if you click Revit will tell you this warning so multiple rooms are in the same enclosed region because I'm just gonna cancel this one because if you remember last time we already placed these rooms during the earlier part of our uh, training for Revit architecture 2022 so we already placed the rooms here okay you can go check out that particular video now for this one i will just add that the room okay so i'm gonna uh, i mean the tag i'm just gonna add the tag so i'm gonna click the tag here or you can also click this icon here tag by category you can click that and then 
you can now oh sorry so not this one so this it should be room tag okay so it's uh, it should be room tag so you click the room tag and then you can check here the properties of the room that you are placing you want to include the uh with the area you can also add here the volume room tag with volume or room tag with area so let's click this area for example and then i can now place one here so you can click there and then i can also click another one here okay so let's say i want to add to this area as well vestil area and the uh, lobby okay now, so let's say, for example, your building is too big and it will take a lot of time if you're going to place your room tag manually. Don't worry, there is an automatic way for you to be able to do that. Okay, so what you can do is you can click the drop down arrow there of the tag room. So you can see here, tag all not tagged. So you just click this icon or tool and then you can now uh, check here what is the tag that you would like to place so I want to place the room tags and then you can specify here what is the type of tag that you want to include okay so in my case I'll just use let's say let's see the volume okay or maybe I'll just use the area here with, so that uh, it's consistent so let's select that one and then let's select here apply and then let's select okay and there you go so revit will now automatically place all the tags for your floor plan okay so basically that's how you add your tags in your project so hopefully you learn something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day